Um, another question we had here was, could you advise on reverts feeling rejected by the Muslim community, maybe not as a whole, but a Muslim community after their shahada? I have said that usually we offer a takbir as a person declares shahada, right? And we think as an ummah, what we owe them is Allahu Akbar, and that's it. After that, they want to get married? No. They want to come to the masjid, you look at them with skepticism. They, they try to interact, you don't want. So what was the takbir all about? You'd rather not have said the takbir and embraced them and let them feel a part of community and society, guide them and, you know, help them. They have lonely Eids. We have Eid in the park. And, I, and I've met so many young boys and girls who say that I thank you for, for being here because I have no family anywhere near. And now I've met family, meaning this, the Eid in the park where the whole Ummah gets together. Ummah as a family. Happy Ummah as a family is part of the, the song that that is sung on the advert for that Eid in the park. That's right? right, yeah, that's right. So it is a family of the Ummah. And if they feel that way, imagine if you have a problem, you're unwell, if your family's rejected you because perhaps you've reverted. Wallahi, it's our duty to at least reach out to such people and reach out to the reverts, uh, look into their needs, communicate with them, invite them over once in a while, help them get married. One of the sicknesses we face those who were perhaps born Muslims or come from relatively cultural backgrounds refuse for their kids to get married to reverts at times because they think, well, this person's a revert. I want to tell you, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was a revert, Umar radiallahu anhu was a revert, Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu the Sahaba were reverts. So if this old man or old woman was there, they probably would have rejected all these reverts, wouldn't they? But Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive us. If that person is a as a beautiful person, their deen is okay, their character is okay, and your child is very keen on it, then let it be. Let it be. Because if not, then you would be guilty of being from among those who would have rejected some of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. I mean, Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu anh, accepted Islam later on after having caused a lot of damage initially. Does that reduce his value? If anything, he was known as the sword of, of, of Allah, you know? So may Allah help us all. My brothers and sisters, I, I seize the opportunity to, to ask every one of you to befriend at least one revert. That's a challenge. Every one of you should befriend at least one revert. If the Prophet wasallam at his time, the people of Medina took in one family, surely it's not too much for us to ask you to say, at least befriend one revert, see what their needs are, help them, make them feel at home, and inshallah, guide them. They may be still learning slowly but surely, but that's how it should be. I've befriended, oh, many, alhamdulillah. And to be honest with you, in my eyes, they get preference because they're probably purer than you and I. They accepted Islam later on. Their, their, their book started only when they declared their shahada. They had a clean slate. And my slate was long back. I must be having a lot of... Uh, you know, deletings in it, inshallah, through Tawbah. May Allah forgive all of us.